Hello Cancer, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of 11, 6 through the 13th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the books and ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Let's flip it. Alright, so it seems like some people, um, you may think they're protecting you, but they're trying to hold you back. Okay? But um, make sure to uh, check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Okay? Alright, what's going on with the cancer, cancer, cancer? Cancer love reading, November 6th through the 13th, 2017. Cancer love reading, November 6th through the 13th, 2017. What's going on? Love reading, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Okay. Alright, so it seems like uh, somebody might be sacrificing their self to help their partner or just somebody that they like get ahead okay so it could be friends also or this okay so seems like you may be sacrificing your bills and yourself to get your partner together it seems like your little friends they talking crap about you behind your back they like just um being negative about the whole situation okay okay so it seems like they feel like that the relationship hasn't been long enough for you to be helping this person like this and they feel like since you are i don't they they feel like you're not that smart for this okay virgo okay you're not a virgo but you're a cancer so you might be dealing with a virgo <laughs> All right, what's going on with the cancer, 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 love reading? All right, so. Wow. So some of you um, may be dealing with one of your friend's exes. Or somebody that knows your friend ex. Or maybe one of your friends is dealing with your ex. Okay. Okay. Or maybe your friend is your ex. Yeah. I feel like for a lot of you, the friend, your friend is an ex. And they're talking about how you spending a lot of money at, on this person after such a, such a short time. But I feel like it's, it's more jealousy. So either... It is ex, one of your friends or one of your friends is dating your ex and they're talking about you. Okay. All right. So it seems like you don't see it as that bad. You don't see it as, as, as that bad. You don't see it as bad as all, at all. Huh? So it's like whatever. As long as it don't make you feel any weird way, why not... You know, keep doing what you're doing. All right. All right. Okay, so the reason why you don't care is is because you love the grown-up thing. You know, uh, the sex is what is keeping you around. That's why you don't mind this giving this person and doing stuff for them. But it's your friends and your ex are pissed. They are so mad that, that you're doing this. But whatever makes you happy, okay? All right, so it seems like... Um, it's starting to get a bit emotionally draining with your friends trying to tell you what to do, but I feel like it's throwing you more in this relationship than you was in the first place. Okay. All right. So I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but I read this straight out the book to make sure you get your full message. All right. All right. What's going on with the cancer, 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 love reading. November, November 6th through the 13th, 2017. November 6th through the 13th, 2017. What's going on? Cancer, cancer, cancer.
Okay, so it seems like you're turning your back on somebody or somebody wants revenge on you, okay? Mm, could be this ex that's talking crap about you. All right, yeah, so it's something, somebody that you left in the past that was hoping you got back with them. So, yeah, I'm feeling like this ex... This ex may be plotting on you some type of way because they feel like you just left them. Mm. All right, so I feel like you may be thinking about this ex as well, but it's only because this friend is coming into your head and telling you, you know, what's so bad about your current relationship or current, current situation, you know. But it seems like everything's going to play out good for you. So it's like no matter what they do, you looking for looking out for number one. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with the queen of swords. All right. Mm -mm. Queen of swords. All right. And it's reverse. It says... Unresolved issues, revenge, and misdirected anger. So I feel like, yeah, this is the ex. They want revenge on you. They feel like you just walked out on them. Or this could be you. It's a general reason, so it can go both ways. And now, this also makes me feel like they may be taking out the anger on the other friends. But it's meant for you. Okay. All right, so we got the Eight of Cups now. All right, the Eight of Cups is, it may be time to move on and start new plans. Do not let your pride stop you from making a change. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like you, this feel like it's going toward your relationship with the new person. It's like, I feel like you want to go to the next level with this person, but you just scared to because of what these people, your friends, quote, quote, are telling you. They like trying to deter you from going with your gut and being with this person. I feel like you should do it. I mean, no matter what, you got the sun in front of you. So it's like, whatever you do, you'll be fine. <laughs> All right. So we got the hermit. Hermit. All right, so it says, a time of being alone, a time away from the world. Look at your life and consider it carefully. Rest and relax and find the answers. Loneliness may occur and betrayal by others may occur. Heal. This makes me feel like sort of they're getting ready to try to sabotage your new relationship for some reason. I don't know how they're going to do it, but it seems like they're going to make they're way in there to try, but I don't think it's going to work, okay? So then you got the sun card. Sun, sun, sun. The sun is hiding from me. All right, there we go. It says, a time of absolute joy, peace, and happiness. You look at life like, as a gift full of future fortune. So many good things are approaching Everything you touch will lead to success and ultimate success. So it's like, whatever. Let them do what they want to do. As long as you making yourself happy, that's all that matters. All right. So, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you're on a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week. Mm -hmm.